How's it going guys, SexHD here with part 2 of my NHL 16 Team of the Year Trade Day results. First off guys, I just want to show you that my Team Week Headman actually sold. I was hoping to revest him and uh, get some trades on him, but unfortunately, as you guys can see, he sold for 250k. So I'm, ha I'm happy about it, but we couldn't use him in the trade day. So we have 134 trade offers right now. Um, I went through and got rid of most of the troll trades. We're going to start off guys with the Team of the Year Hoffman we're giving away as he's basically constantly getting trades on him. And I want to just try to like, you know, pick a winner for that um, before it gets too out of hand. There was like 300 plus. So everyone that asked, you know, would I go through them all? I did go through them all. So these are all new trades I haven't seen. Um, there's been a lot of like teal colors, purple colors. Lots of people sending in guys with like the, the hop in their name or dudes like this right here with like the gap in their teeth. Uh, right here we have a guy with a lamb in his name, couple of purple and yellow jerseys. Bishop, I'm not really sure how Bishop works. Marner's kind of got the buck teeth. That jersey may be like a crazy bunny, I don't know. Uh, three guys with an egg in their name. Randager, Randager, McKaig. Um, we got White Bean Hunt. That kind of makes sense, you know, White Bean's the egg. Uh, Joseph Day, Bunneman, Bun. That's not. That's probably the first one I've seen with like any sort of bunny and there's a bear. Uh, those three logos kind of look like, you know, colored eggs. I'm not sure about the Chiefs though. Uh, this is pretty good. Two colored eggs, Hunt, the Jersey, Green, All-Stars. That's pretty good actually. Maybe one of the better ones so far. A couple roosters here with the Wild and the Eagle logo. Cracknell is also pretty good. Um, Grop, Hunt, Green, and Purple Jersey. I'm not sure how Grop works. I'm guessing he was going for like Hop. Nugent Hopkins. I've had a lot of Hopkins actually sent in. Uh, this is actually pretty good too. There's four dudes here all bald, basically egg-shaped heads. So, I don't know. Like, there's some good offers here. It's probably going to be between this one and this one here with the two colored eggs and Hunt. So, I mean, we want something that goes more with Easter. I like the four bald dudes with the egg-shaped heads. But, I mean, that probably relates more to eggs. Whereas this, you actually have, like, the colored eggs and the Hunt, which relates more to Easter. Um, this one was pretty good too, but again, that's just eggs. This guy, I think he actually went for like the Easter egg hunt. I think this is the best one, so we're gonna accept that. Um, and just can we just go to active auctions? Oh, that's what we should have done. So, one sec, we'll go back. All right, guys, so we're going through the actual offers now. We're starting off here with Team Week Claude Giroux, seven real offers, uh, maybe six. Uh, play the game Dreisal, play the game Klingberg. I know Dreisal's worth at least 200k, Klingberg's gotta be worth, worth at least 25, so that seems like a really good offer. Koivu in 225, so basically the coins I wanted, plus Koivu. Uh, Duchesne in 50, I'm not sure what Duchesne's worth, I'd have to guess at least 150. Um, three pretty low-end Movembers and a base Jack Eichel's not going to do it. 220k, so again, basically just the coins I want. Bufflin and Flash 4 Ristoline. And Ristoline's about 100k. Bufflin you'd think would be at least 100, so it's maybe going to be that one, the two play of the games, or just the 225k coins. But I feel like... Player of the game Klingberg's 90 overall. I think that's his highest card right now. I think his Movember's a 90, so that's got to be worth at least 50k. Then you got Dreisal's player of the game, which is also at least 200. Uh, it was 300. I think I've seen it going for like 250. It might be dropping with Team of the Year. I think this is the best deal. Plus, he's giving me Dreisal. We'll take that deal. Um, I don't want to, you know, spend too much time looking at every single card's price to make sure I get, you know, the max coins. I think I'm just going to go with what looks like the best deal. So, a troll offer there on FNUF. 72k. Or the offer I showed you guys at the beginning. Or no, sorry, this is the offer I showed you at the beginning. So, Team Week Placanix, Steen at 14k. That's not really that good though. Placanix is like, not worth too much. We get 72k coins in a contract. Or we get Team Week Doan and Ryan O'Reilly. Uh, this is definitely not even close. So, it's 72k. Or Placanix, Steen in 14k. I'll give this dude the deal. Even though I think it's a little undervalued. It's it's fine. I'm looking to make some trades. Not just sell the guys for coins. So, next we have Kessler. Troll trade there. We get Ablocator, Team of the Week, Team Week, Erickson, and uh, International Player of the Game, Meyer. We get two low end Movembers in 40k, or just under. That's not quite. Parise in 30k. Uh, these are not. Uh, 80k was like pretty low end for Team Week Kessler. This is his highest card right now. The Parise in 30k. Parise is worth like. I don't know what Parise is worth. He's not worth 50k, I don't believe. Um, those two Movembers are worth 10k max. So that's um, 60. And then these two are also, this team weeks are worth like 10k. So Parise, we'll, you know, I think we have time. We'll take a quick look at Parise's price and then decide. So Parise actually is worth around 40k, which means with the 30k coins, is about 70k. So 10k short, but it's the best offer here. And I'm not using Kessler, so uh, that is a pretty fair deal. Next, guys, we have the Team Week McDavid. Uh, this is also a pretty rare card. Team Week Johansson in 30k. That's a pretty good offer off the bat. Also, I just noticed we actually have a 100k bid on him. 
Uh, so we'll see what else we got. Uh, Jersey there, that's just a troll trade. Uh, another troll trade. Uh, Team Week Eichel in 40k, that's not going to do it. That's like 70k. Base McDavid and a logo of Jersey in 20k also won't do it. Patch already won't do it. Um, this is pretty crazy. We get Base McDavid, so that's like 50k. The gold base, I should say. I think I called both bases the same. Uh, flashback Pierre Mar Bouchard, that's a rare card. I have no idea what he's worth, but I mean, I feel like to the right person, he'd be worth a lot, especially with so limited of him on the market. Kreider, I think, is like 15k. Nightfist, 15, 20k. So low end here. We're looking at at least plus the 10k coins. We're looking at like 50k for McDavid. I have no idea for Bouchard, and then uh, Kreider and Nyquist, 30k between the two of them, plus 10k coins. I feel like that's a really good deal, and you get that really rare card there in flashback, Pierre Mike Bouchard, 120k straight up. Man, so pretty good offers, really good offers here, actually. Team Eco Hansen, 30k. Um, this was a really good offer, so was that. I think we'll take this deal. I feel like the Pierre Mike Bouchard, um, he could be worth a lot to the right person, so we'll take that. And we get McDavid back, so I like that off. Next here, guys, we have the Team Week McKinnon. Let's see what we get. Um, Flash, Junior Flashback, Ben, and 30k. It's an interesting offer. Um, jersey there. Tourist Falk McKinnon, that's... That's not going to do it. That's, like, less than 50k. Um, Kestel and Ghost. Milestone Hosa, 3k. I have no idea what Milestone Hosa goes for. Um, Crawford, Oshane, Sharp. Again, those are just kind of, like, lower-end players. Flash Forward, Ellers, or Ehlers, I should say. I think he goes for 75k last I checked, so that's actually a pretty fair deal, like, pretty lateral move. Uh, Neil Couture, Wheeler, boosted, but no, that's not enough. 70k straight up, and then Perry Bukestad, Ghost, or Perry Bukestad and Goudreau. Um, I think I'm gonna go flash forward Ehlers, I think that's actually the most fair offer. And we have a November Ehlers on the market, so that would actually allow us to sell him, because I don't think he's gonna get Team of the Year, this probably will be his highest rated card. Uh, so, and we'll still have Ehlers, so I think we'll do that deal there. Uh, he should be around the same price as McKinnon. McKinnon, I, I've used, hasn't been too great for me, so we'll see uh, how Ehlers fares. Simmons, Anderson, Mason, Anderson. So, kind of just, again, just like mediocre guys. I don't think that even adds up to 40k. Letang and 10k, that's not terrible. Uh, Barry and Movember Jones at 7,500. Letang and Shattenkirk. Landeskog. Lucic, Seabrook, 25k. Play the game Bartowski, I definitely don't even want it. Gallagher, Monahan, Lucic, 32k. And Yager, Rene, Bishop. Hmm, I think Rene's like 20k. Bishop's like 15, 10. Yager, uh, so that's a pretty good offer. So is Lucic, 32. Um, that's also decent. 25, Lucic, and Seabrook. Seabrook's like 5k, though. So it's probably about the same. Uh, Landis Cog's like 40k, I think. Maybe he's dropped a bit to like 35. Tang, Shankirk, I don't know here. Um, Simmons is like 15. Anderson and Mason are both 2. Uh, Anderson's like 4. So, uh, that's that's kind of... I mean, they're all, I guess, close. I guess it comes down to who I actually want here. Um, geez, I don't even know. I think it's going to be between these two. Lucic, 32k, or Yaga, Rene, and Bishop. And... I said I didn't want coins, so we'll just go with the players here. Um, if there is like a, a crazy amount of coins on a player, I will take it. But uh, for the most part, we're going to try to trade for players. Uh, Team Eat Clef, on my side, is a very rare card. Like, I haven't seen another one in the market. We get Turris Bernier, 5k. Daniel Sedin, that's a pretty good straight-up offer. That's not going to be good enough. That's not good enough. That's not good enough. Not good enough. That's like half his value, Max Domi. Uh, and he's way less rare. Uh, Spetson Myers is pretty close. Falk, assistant captain, and 4k. That's also pretty close. That's not quite good enough. So it's either this, which is about... I'd say it's a little over 10k value. This is about 10k value. And... What was the other offer? Daniel Sedin. I have no idea what he's going for now. I assume he's worth at least 10k. Um, I think we could take Daniel Sedin straight up. I think that might be the best deal here. Um, I, I, there's no way he's less than 10k. We'll do Daniel Sedin. Like I said, I want to go check every single um, player's price for this. I kind of want to, you know, hopefully make the best deal with, like, my knowledge of the prices that we're gonna, kind of going for here. The Parise one, though, I definitely wanted to check to make sure I wasn't giving away Kessler too cheap. Um, November Stone here, of course, equal to the Team of the Year card now, 94 overall. That's not good enough. Not even close. Uh, wow! Flash forward Nylander. Um, last I checked, he was going for, like... 300 and oh no sorry he got team of the year i was thinking his team of the year which goes for 
like 350. His flash forward does not go for that much. I'm not sure what his flash forward's worth. Um, Thor McKinn, Dry Islamic David, that's not 150. That's like, that's, uh, that's barely like 50. Um, November to Foley and Neil. To Foley's worth 100k. Neil, I don't think he's probably worth 50, but maybe close. So that's not too bad. Doom Nick and 130. Um, this is uh, 120, 130, one. This is like 140 ish. So it's either that, 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 or that. I think Flash Forward Lumen is maybe worth 150. Um, I don't know though, for 94 stone. Let's check the price of Flash Forward Nylander, and then we'll make the decision. Alright guys, I just checked the price of Flash Forward Nylander. He's about 150, so it's pretty fair in that retrospect, but he has a Team of the Year card, whereas the Movember Stone is the Team of the Year, so his price should stay the same, whereas Flash Forward Nylander will probably keep dropping. Um, really though, it's probably the closest um, in terms of value, but I don't know if I want to make that deal or not. I haven't even tried out Stone yet, so I might hold off for now, and uh, you know, make the decision later. November Eichel, here we have a straight up offer of Stamkos. Uh, November Eichel, though, is worth 350. Stamkos is 300, so it's straight up losing 50k. Uh, Team League Ben, Milestone Nash, 50k. That one, that's a pretty good offer. Uh, Team Leader Lucic, he's not worth 350. He's worth a lot, but not that much. Uh, Lungbus, Malkin, and Hall, that's a pretty good offer as well. Play of the Game Sagan, 160. That's like his third worst special card. So, again, you don't want to trade for those cards that are like. When a guy gets like five special cards, you don't want like his second worst one. You want like the best one or maybe the second best one. Um, otherwise, it's not worth it. Uh, no one's going to pay a lot for those like other cards. Um, the base is fine though because of the collection. Stamkos in 40k, so that's a lot closer. That's 340 value. So the other Stamkos is just irrelevant now. Um, November Klingberg, Flash Forward still line, and November Falk in 10k. Holtby's not close at all. Uh, this guy just gave me 335k coins. Uh, Junior Flashback Stamkos, that's about 200k last I checked, gets a lot of parry in 60k, um, that's also not bad. November Zetterberg, straight up, I don't think he gets a Team of the Year Zetterberg, if he would have, yeah, I don't think he does. November Stone, November Smith, Junior Flashback Headman, November Horvat, Stamkos again, and November Bishop. So, November Bishop I think is a bit under 200k, so that's pretty close as well. Man, the thing is here, like, I don't know, all these trades... The best trades are close to 350, and there's a very good chance Eichel gets a 2300 team of the year next week, in which case his price skyrockets, and I hate every single one of these trades. Uh, I'm gonna, I am going to contemplate those trades again. We're gonna move on to the move for McDavid now. It's top trade Movembers, especially like Eichel and McDavid, who you know have a very good shot of getting a big upgrade uh, next week. So we got a couple more McD uh, Movembers here, and Varlamov with 124k. 350k, uh, 350k, that's, we want 500k boys, that's what he's worth. Uh, Kuznetsov is worth about 300 this November, because he's pretty much a lock for either 23 and under, and or offensive team of the year, like, he's gonna be on either one, plus 200k, so that's a pretty good deal right there, that's, that's 500k value, that is pretty fair. Um, quick, Weber, Kessel, JVR, November 16k, um, November Bishop, Neely, November Camilleri, Quincy Fox Oh uh, man. And Malkin, Keith, Doughty, and Flash Forward Theodore. So the best deal here is definitely the Kuznetsov. He is for sure getting a team of the year. McDavid is probably getting a 2300 team of the year. The only way I don't see him getting it is if he somehow like because he was injured for so much they feel like he's not worthy of it. It's it's up in the air for McDavid. Kuznetsov's guaranteed. We're getting two hundred K plus his November. Um <laughs> that's funny, but definitely not trading for it. That one, that's pretty close. These two 350s, like those extra cards barely add anything. Uh, so it's, yeah, it's basically this last one or the Kuznetsov. I like the Kuz I think the Kuznetsov deal is fair. There's really no reason I shouldn't take that. That's a fair deal. The guy's giving me Kuznetsov plus a 200k to upgrade to McDavid. Both, or Kuznetsov getting a team of the year, McDavid might. Kuznetsov's team of the year will probably be around 93, 94. So we're going to take this deal it's gonna be tough to let go of mcdavid we'll do it so there we go Get moved on from a huge team of the year stone and um eichel i'm still not sure what i want to do with uh when we're kessler here straight up for larkin i feel like larkin's got a way better chance of getting something uh duclair shankirk 150 no thank you ben bufflin gabrick no thank you 
That's pretty good, actually. Lots of base cards, but high-valued ones. Duchesne, Suter, uh, Giroud, Voracek, and 30k. So, all four of those guys are, like, 50k plus guys. So, that's, like, 200k. At least last I checked. Unless one of them fell below 50k, I don't know. Last I checked, they're all above. And he's giving me 28k with that. So, I feel like that's a pretty good offer right there. November Wheeler. Um, I've already got two Team of the Year Wheelers. Actually, I've got three now. Um, so, I'm going to have to say no just for that fact. And then a November Larkin with the center. <laughs> what is this guy? He's paying me 50, K, 50 coins to get his guy at left wing. Um, I'm not interested in that. I think this is actually a very good deal. Um, very fair deal. If this guy, if this is his team too. He's given up like some big points of his team just to get the November Larkin. So we're going to say yes to that. I feel that's a fair deal. Especially if Larkin gets a team of the year. Or then it's even more fair for him, I should say. Um, November Limpole here actually has an offer. Now he doesn't. Uh, who's next here? November Riley, um, Ray Bork. Wow, I don't know what Ray Bork's cost, cost is at all. Um, Elkins, Kelly, and seventy, just under seventy k. Kopitar, Bergeron, Nash. Um, well, wow, that's a pretty good deal. Is that, I wonder if that's the same guy who made the uh, the other offer. Just trade me his team here. Um, Neil Ekman, Larson. Um, that's close, but I feel like no. That's also a no. We have to go. I I said I wanted to check the price at least as I could, but. I gotta go check out uh, Ray Bork's price. He's honestly, he's a wild card. I have no idea what he's worth. All right, guys. So I just looked up uh, Ray Bork's price. It's about 90k. So we're kind of losing 10k on him. And I'm thinking these guys right here are actually worth over 100k. Kopitar is like 50 to 60. Bergeron is like 40, 40 to 50, and then Nash is like 30, I think. So a little over 100k. Plus both Kopitar and Bergeron are in the team of the year right now, which means their base cards aren't in packs. So I could sell them right now. While the supply is low, anyone who wants to do the LA or Boston collection is going to have to pay a lot more. And I think I actually make out really well on this deal. So, I think this is fair. Um, remember Riley, I don't think in my main team, or he might be. We can find somebody new, I guess. So, we're going to do that deal. I think that's pretty fair. I think that guy might have just gotten two Movembers from me, too, in Larkin and Riley. So, next, guys, we're going to go to the Ehlers. Um, okay, I think this is this the same guy offering me Hedman, Prize, and Carlson. He just wants all of my young Movembers, who he's hoping gets uh, 2300 Team of the Years, I think. He got Larkin, he got Riley. Is he gonna get Ehlers from me here? Um, I've got Ehlers at 75k, cause I don't think he's getting the 2300 team of the year. He's giving me 40k in Parise, he's giving me about 20k in Carlson, about 20k in Hedman, so that's 80, plus 8500. Bishop, Koivu, Ennis, and Marlowe. I think that's, that's worse than the first one. Flash forward Ehlers and 5k. So... Wow, so it's another flash forward Ehlers in 5k, or we take Hedman, Prize, Carlson, 8,500. Jeez, uh, Hedman's also in the team of the year right now, so his price has actually probably gone up. Probably could get 25 for him, his base card. 45, or 20 for Carlson, that's 45, 40, 35 we'll say, 40 for Prize, 85, 8,500. I think that's the better deal. I'm, you know what, if this is one guy making all these deals, and he's he's going all in here for these 2300 guys, and he's hoping, we'll let him have it, because uh, it's, it's risky. If he doesn't, if they don't hit Team of the Year, that's it's a risky move. Um, remember Murray here, Ryan, McKinnon, Drysaddle. That's, I think that's close to 50k. I think Ryan's like 20, McKinnon's like 20, Drysaddle's 5, so that's 45. Team EK's, I just have no interest in, sorry. Um, the thing is, I actually... November Murray, I had like six of them. This is my only one left. He's actually pretty sick. I don't know if I want him for three cards I already have. Uh, I think I gotta say no. I feel like it's a fair deal, but for the November Murray, it's three cards I literally already have. So we're gonna pass, I think. November Everly though, uh, Gallagher, Lachanyak, Zuccarello, Vatnin. So this is just like four literally more or less discard cards in 3k, which is not gonna do it. Thomas Cavalier, I didn't even know was in this game with November Kadri and Forsberg. Kadri's actually going to get a, um, a player of the game card, I believe. So he'll be an 86. So his price will go up. Um, how much? Probably no more than 25k. And then it's Cavalier and a discard, so it's it's still not really worth it. I think we got to pass on both of these. I like somebody uh, throwing Cavalier in there, but uh, it's not going to do it, uh, I don't think. November Bukestad, here's a couple offers. We have Team Week Bukestad, so his. Just the card that's based, the November is based off of in 17.5k. That's not too bad, I don't think. And a milestone Petrovic. So I'm not interested in the Petrovic. Team Ebustad, 17.5k. Oh man, I feel like the November is definitely worth more than 17.5k. So we gotta say no again. I, I I was close to it, but it's like, I don't think 
that's worth it. Uh, November Duclair here, we have, he actually has a bid on him, a 50,001 coin, I didn't even notice that. Shinekirk, Simmons, Krejci, 3k, Hamute, so just discard cards in 15k, Pawn, Villain, Gauthier, so no to that one, no to that one. Uh, Shankirk, Simmons, Krejci, 3k. Um, I think that's like, that's not 50, I think, I don't think that's, that's, Simmons and Shankirk both like 15 max, Krejci's like 5, so that's, 35, that's, no, that's not good enough for him over to Claire. I think it might just take, uh, let, might just let this guy who bid on him win it. Uh, still wondering about those two. Milestone Ghost got an offer. He didn't have one at the beginning. Assistant cap, 122k. That's not even close. He had a last price sold of like 280, and then he had one of like 200, so he's somewhere in there. Uh, 122 is just nowhere near value. November Ekblad, flashback, Pierre Marc Bouchard again, so maybe he's not as rare as I thought. Uh, McDonald Burger. Um, Ekblad's worth about 200 max, so that's not good enough. Team of the Year Luongo, that's kind of nuts. Team of the Luongo, I think, is worth about 350. Um, a bronze contract, he's just hoping I mess up. Malkin and the Vancouver guys, I don't I don't think that's good enough. Um, November Verbata in 280, that's not good enough. Uh, Duchesne Gallagher, that's, that's not bad, but I don't think it's going to be good enough. Contract, 280k again, no thanks. Play the game dry saddle, that's not bad either. That's a no. The Swedish Swedish cards are there are not worth uh, 200k. Ben in 130 is not bad. November Everly in 265, you're a bit off. That's kind of all mediocre. Patty Kane in 50k, that's a pretty good offer too. Oh man. I actually, the Chicago collection is the only collection I have left to do and I need Patty Kane. So, it's Patty Kane in 50k or it's Team of the Year Luongo. Team of the Year Luongo though would be such a beast and I could just buy Patty Kane. Oh man, I know I said I wasn't going to get check prices, but I gotta go check the Team of the Longest price, I need to know what he's worth. I just checked the Team of the Longo guys, he has one on the market for 500k by now, another for 380, but his last price sold is 300, so he's probably worth around 350, uh, I think that's a pretty fair estimate. P Patty Kane's worth about uh, 250, so plus 50k there, so that's 300, so the Team of the Longo is definitely 50k more. Um... And he's a team of the year long ago. So we just have to take that. We just have to. I, I was so close to the Patty Kane. But I can just buy Patty Kane. And we get team of the year long ago, Which is awesome. So now guys. We're going to the big boy here. In Alex Ovechkin. We got 10 trade offers. Flash forward McDavid. Off the bat. Wow. Uh, he's worth about 600k. So that's a pretty fair offer to start with. Uh, we get a bronze contract there. Again. Somebody's just hoping. Team either Bobby Ryan. Flash forward Larkin. And 40k. I don't think that's that's not quite good enough. Uh, well, that's 150 plus 280. That's not 600. November McDavid. Wow. November McDavid and 20k. So November McDavid's worth. If if McDavid gets a team of the year, November McDavid's worth more than the flash forward. If he doesn't get a team of the year, the flash forward's worth more than the they're worth more than the November. Get my uh, words twisted here. That's tough. Plus 20k. November Yager. He could get it. I don't think he'll get a team of the year. 470k in mission. That's maybe maybe one one maybe like two two years ago, but not now. Uh, Team Deer Matthews, Mover Hoffman. That's about 450k. Um, that's four good players, but not worth it. Mover Falk, Krejci, and 400k. That's again not worth it. So it's basically either the Flash Forward McDavid or the Movember McDavid for Ovechkin. Um, Flash Forward McDavid has like a last price sold of 600k. Oh, and he's giving us 6k, or it's the November McDavid, who he had a value of about 500k on with 20k. Or I just keep Ovechkin, the base Ovechkin, and I don't risk. Like I said, if, if McDavid gets a team of the year, the flash forward's going to go drastically down in price. November, though, will go up. Will it even go up? Because everyone's just going to want the team of the year. I feel like it's so risky trading for either McDavid, and Ovechkin's kind of a sure thing, the base card. You need it for the Capitals collection. And I already have both the November and the Flash Forward McDavid. Oh, man. I feel like... And none of these other trades are even close to 600k. I feel like I got passed, guys. I, I, was, I was down to trade Ovi, but the two McDavid's are the closest value. And they're both really risky plays, depending on whether or not he gets a team of the year. And everything else was not close enough in value. Um, Legend Neely, November Camilleri, and Eichel for team of the year Brody. I think Neely's worth like 50k, November Camilleri I think is worth 50k, and then we get a base Ice Eichel, so that's like, 
That's again close, but I feel like giving up a lot. So these are the guys. I think some of these guys had a couple offers. Monahan somehow didn't get a single offer. I was definitely down to trade him. All right, guys. So I just received a tweet from at Hellbeck saying, "Take my McDavid, please." Last price sold 600k. I've wanted Ovi all year. Um, the flash forward McDavid's the one that's worth 600k. And November's worth about 550. So I wasn't gonna do it, but he's wanted Ovi all year. I'm gonna do it, I guess. It's I don't know if I'm gonna regret it or not, but it's a trade day. Let's do it. Also, November Stone here. I wasn't gonna do the flash forward Nylander for, but I've had a change of heart. Whatever. We're gonna do that deal too. Uh, the November Eichel though, I'm sticking. I'm staying pat on. He's my only November Eichel. He's my only kind of Eichel. I trade the team a week away. I think he's for sure a locker community team of the year, and I can't wait for his 99 shooting card. And the rest of the cards I went through and I just couldn't pull the trigger on any of them. Anyway guys, that's a trade day. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you think I should have made some trades I didn't. Or maybe I shouldn't have made some trades I did in the comments section. If you guys did enjoy it, leave that thumbs up. Thanks for watching guys. Have a nice day. Goodbye.